Let's take a look at the reaction between solid magnesium metal and water. So we put magnesium metal in with the water and we want to see what happens. Not too much happens right away. If we look closely, we might see some bubbles being formed. Let's wait, come back in a minute or two. So now we can see those bubbles forming. That's a gas. In fact, if we collected that gas and we put a flame near it, it would combust. If we had enough, it would make a nice little explosion. That's hydrogen gas, H2. So we have our gas. We're also forming magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide, it doesn't dissolve very well in water. It's insoluble in water. So it's forming a layer of magnesium hydroxide kind of on the metal and slowing the reaction down. But we still see those hydrogen bubbles coming off. So a reaction is taking place. We should balance the equation. Let's put a 2 in front of the H2O and that'll balance the equation. If instead of water we used steam, water, H2O, gas, we would get different products. We would get MgO plus H2. So similar but very different products. So to recap, we put magnesium metal in liquid water. We get magnesium hydroxide, that's the MgOH2, which is a solid, plus H2 gas. That gas, those are the bubbles. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.